Here we go, we've got a brand new 2022 Toyota Venza limited edition. Celestial black is the color on this one. That metallic black looks awesome. Hey, in today's video, we're gonna uh, check out the exterior and then later we'll dive inside and I'll show you all the great interior features on the luxury edition of the Venza for 2022. Let's get started right up front. So the Venza, I would say, is the sleekest of all Toyota crossovers and it is a luxury version and an upscale version of the uh, RAV4 really built on the same platform using the uh, same hybrid system on the RAV4. So for 2022 Venza's only available as a hybrid and also available as an all-wheel drive and a front-wheel drive edition. So this is a limited and this is going to be the all-wheel drive. It has a very unique headlight design and grille design, different than any of the other Toyotas. So take a look at the headlights. This is a full complement of LED headlights. So high beams, low beams, daytime running lights, LED all the way around. I love the style of this, really sleek, really narrow, white, bright, just an awesome look. Let me know in the comments if you like the style of those headlights. Now the uh, front end on this is quite pointed as you can see it comes off uh, really to almost a, an arrow look. The uh, grill on here is an acrylic grill. It's kind of a three dimensional grill similar to what is on the uh, Prius Prime. So the Prime and the Venza are the only ones that have this style of grill. And then you do get the blue uh, Toyota badge which indicates a hybrid and then behind the badge there's the dynamic radar cruise control sensor and then they've added some trim here around and underneath the headlights and then some additional chrome trim down here on the lower bumper now for 2022 they've also included led fog lights on the lower bumper the uh, limited edition does have parking sensors here and here and these are kind of a faux vent, so those are not functional. They don't actually go through. I think they're primarily there for styling on the Venza. But I think it's a really cool look. Super quiet ride it because it is so aerodynamic. As we head around to the side here, we'll take a quick look at those wheels and tires. So on the uh, limited edition, this is kind. Of, this is a cast aluminum wheel. It's a uh, kind of a satin chrome finish and those are 19 inch alloy wheels with chrome lug nuts 225-55R series tire nice road tire fills out that wheel wall nicely four wheel disc brakes anti-lock brakes traction control stability control is all standard on the Venza sliding down the side more chrome up and over the window sills the uh, outside mirrors have chrome on them as well with LED turn signals here. These do fold in, they're power operated folding mirrors. They also break away. Underneath here, there's a camera right there for the View 360. This is a puddle light that actually at night when you hit the key fob, illuminates a Venza um, icon kind of on the ground. You can't see it in the daytime, but at night it's really interesting. The rocker panels on here, these are all wrapped with that ABS plastic scratch and dent resistant. If you do pick up a dent on here, it's easy to remove that trim. We'll take a look here. You can see it wraps right over the top of the door sill or the, the door bottom here. So that can be removed and replaced easily without doing any body work or paint work. I think that's a really slick idea that they've done on the Venza. The RAV4 has that similar look. The uh, B pillar is going to be gloss black, door handles painted color to match with the smart keyless entry system. Gas door is going to be right here on the uh, driver's side. This one has the optional uh, door protection here on the trim. That's an extra charge. These are uh, aluminum. They kind of are compression fit to the door to protect the door. Privacy glass on your back windows color to match shark fin antenna and then this one does have the sky view uh, roof this does not open but it does let light shine through later in the video when I go inside I'll show you how that works take a look at the high mounted spoiler up here 
And then we do have a little bit of shipping tape on here. We do have an LED third brake light right up in this area here. Privacy glass, rear window defrost, rear washer wiper standard, and another one of those blue hybrid badges right there. The tail lights are really sleek. These are an LED light bulb wraps all the way around the edge. Very narrow, very slim, very sleek looking. Venza in uh, chrome, limited in chrome and hybrid in chrome. Uh, we do have a backup camera under here. We do have a power lift gate. Let's, uh, I've got it running, so I can't remember. I don't think it works while it's running, but uh, when it's turned off, you can kick underneath. There is a pressure pad here as well that you can use. And you can also use uh, your keyless remote to activate that tailgate. And then there's buttons up here to close it again. Later I'll go into the trunk and show you all the great features on the trunk. And then they've also brought some of that chrome trim around that we saw up on the front grill. We have parking sensors here. Also uh, LED turn signals. These are your LED backup lights. Uh, dual chrome exhaust tips coming out the back here. Of course it's a four cylinder engine so it doesn't have a true dual exhaust system on there then this is all abs plastic as well scratch and dent resistant and easy to replace if you do pick up a crack or something in there it's a lot easier than again repainting the whole vehicle but the style on this is really really interesting very lexus like style definitely lexus like luxury you'll see that when we get inside but definitely it'll save you thousands Let's go ahead and uh, pop the hood and take a look at the power plant. So I mentioned earlier that the uh, Venza comes standard as a hybrid. And so there's just one engine, one, one power plant. And this is uh, Toyota's 2.5 liter four cylinder 16 valve gasoline engine uh, connected to a CVT automatic transmission that's on this side. And then your hybrid componentry is over on this side here with the electric motors. So a couple interesting things about this power plant. Number one, they use it in the Camry. They also use it in the RAV4. And then they also use it in the uh, Toyota Sienna and now also the v Venza. They were using it in the Avalon, but the Avalon's being discontinued. I'd expect to see it in other units. It's just such a solid uh, uh, power plant. So we've got 219 horsepower combined uh, fuel economy is going to run 39 miles per gallon. And as I said, they use this in the Venza and uh, it's plenty of power, 219 uh, combined uh, horsepower and such. The engine and the transmission, now there's really three fantastic warranties under the hood that you're really going to want to know about. First, the engine transmission has a powertrain warranty. That's going to be five years, 60,000 miles on the engine and transmission, no deductible. And then the next two warranties are related to the hybrid system. So the first is the mechanical warranty. So you've got electric motors and wiring and sensors and all that type of stuff that runs the hybrid system. And this is an all wheel drive. That warranty is going to be, uh, what is it, eight years, 100,000 miles on the mechanics of the hybrid system. Now, as far as the uh, hybrid battery, that has a 10 year, 150,000 mile warranty, no deductible. Now, I did want to talk about the all wheel drive system on here because it's pretty interesting the way Toyota gets it done. So, for the all wheel drive, the uh, rear wheels have electric motors to control the all-wheel drive and then the front of course is the mechanical CVT and the electric motors as well and so when you're out on the road you're running around you're running your your errands and we have a nice day like today there's no need for the all-wheel drive to work at all and so the electric motors on the rear-wheel drive are turned off on a day like today and you get that great fuel economy 39 miles per gallon but then what happens is when it starts to sense any slip, if there's snow on the ground, then all of a sudden the rear motors will kick in and give you that traction you need for the all wheel drive. So they kind of turn it on and off based upon your needs. So it's a really great system. The interesting thing is when you look underneath the uh, Venza we put up on a hoist, 
there's no rear drive there's no drive shaft going to the back it's just wires to power the electric motor so really great way to get it done now the vehicle itself has a three-year 36,000 mile limited warranty no deductible and then of course you do get Toyota care which covers your basic maintenance so oil changes tire rotations fluid top-offs uh, for two years or 25,000 miles ever comes first so really great warranty is on a really high quality uh, crossover all right let's get started on the uh, driver's door as we head inside so there's a lot going on inside the Venza in terms of style fabrics materials those types of things so this is all soft tech fabric uh, door panel so soft to the touch padded and it's layered on there so you can see it's sewn right in here using the uh, stitches here they have this interesting piece of trim right here it begins with this uh, chrome and then moves all the way down the door and into the dashboard it's actually of like a braided uh, piece of trim it's hard to explain what they would call it but it's all braided this is all like thread here really cool um, satin finish chrome on the door handles as well as here memory uh, driver's seat steering wheel and uh, mirrors so you push the button and it will automatically adjust the seat to uh, two different drivers there's a telescoping steering wheel control right there also they use this interesting metallic trim down here on the door um, we'll see more of that when we go inside but it's very interesting the way that they mix up all these different uh, fabrics and materials and colors in fact down here there's a piece of gloss black trim that goes over the speaker and I don't know if you can see it but it, it has Venza printed on it so a, a great deal of attention to detail on the inside of the Venza there's pockets for bottle holders there's also a puddle light down here your outside mirrors also have puddle lights so there's little projectors at night when you hit your uh, keyless remote it actually projects Venza down on the ground so very very interesting a lot of features on the Venza that just are not on other Toyota uh, uh, models also the the threshold here has a Venza uh, aluminum plate but this illuminates at night you can't see it during the day but when you open the door that all lights up makes it really easy to see where you're where you're going and putting your feet power seats on both sides with power recliner and four-way position lumbar support on the driver's seat these are all black soft tech fabric seats and you can see they have a kind of a gray stitching height adjustable headrest height adjustable seat belt and the airbags are actually in the seat so as you move the seat forward the airbags move with you which puts them in the optimal position for safety up on the dashboard four of these vents with on and off switches up and down left and right way down here we've got a pile of switches or a big row of switches so we've got our dimmer switch for our dash lights automatic high beams on and off traction control on and off view 360 so you've got a 360 camera that kind of spins around so you can see the perimeter of it that turns that on and off heated steering wheel and the power uh, trunk release there as well and then I mentioned before the tilt telescoping steering wheel on the floor gas brake and dead pedal where you'd expect them your gas door release is here and your hood release is down here as well so that's a quick look uh, before we jump in I just want to show you this this uh, moonroof on here that panoramic moonroof really great brings in a lot of light we'll take a closer look at it from the inside so behind the wheel of the uh, limited Venza there is a lot of tech on the inside of this thing and a lot of comfort and convenience features this is a uh, kind of a point of view because I've got my camera basically up by my nose I just wanted to show you all the uh, room in here headroom and leg room take a look down here the leg room when the seats all the way back for me I could not drive this vehicle it's it's uh, definitely got enough leg room for six footers and then in addition to having the uh, ability to adjust the seat forward and backwards we also have that telescoping steering wheel so I'll, I'll show you that in a minute so I could also move that in and out as well so I'm just gonna move the seat forward so I can uh, actually touch the pedals and maybe reach the steering wheel 
This is a leather wrapped steering wheel, padded leather wrapped, heated steering wheel with a driver's side airbag, of course. And then we also have fingertip controls for our information center, which is gonna be up here in the gauge cluster. Bluetooth connectivity for your smartphone, voice activation, volume for the sound system is here. And then over on this side, we've got our cruise control, dynamic radar cr cruise control settings, lane departure on and off, and then we can change the radio stations right here on the steering wheel as well. So a lot of uh, convenience in terms of just keeping your hands on the steering wheel. Over on this side, wiper controls. We have auto automatic uh, windshield wipers with the rain sensing wipers on this one. And then we have intermittent uh, wipers on the back with the washer feature. And then over on this side, we've got our headlight uh, on and off, high beams, and our um, fog lights. These are auto on and off for the headlights. And then we also have those automatic high beams on and off as well, which works really, really well. It automatically switches between high and low beams depending on traffic in front of you. It's pretty seamless. I have it in my Corolla and I love it. Uh, let's go ahead and fire it up so we can start moving stuff around. You do get uh, two of the keyless remotes, which has the um, power lift gate release and it says Venza on the back here. I don't know if you can see that right there. Uh, and then we do have push button start. So you just have to have the keys on your person or in your handbag, foot on the brake, push the power start button in and away it goes and starts up. And so there's a bit of an animation there as well um, that comes on and you can see the cluster instrument cluster is a combination of mechanical and virtual gauges. So on the left hand side is our, our energy monitoring system for our hybrid system and then over uh, below that is our engine temperature gauge and then over here on the right is our speedometer and our fuel gauge. I like the look of these with those black uh, needles on there. Let's see if we can get it to start up so you can see those jump around a little bit. Actually, they won't move until I move, so I'm not going to be able to demonstrate those. Um, and then here in the center uh, section, there's a, uh, a computer screen here, which has all of your trip information there, outside temperature, a digital clock. You can scroll between or manipulate what displays there right here on the steering wheel. So you can see we've got a digital speedometer right there. We've got our EV monitoring system right there as well, which you also have that EV monitoring system up here on the center stack. We'll take a look at that in just a minute, but um, really easy to, to read, very colorful, blues, reds, yellows, greens, all kinds of colors coming up there, but very easy to read. And then this one does have the technology package on it. So if I, uh, don't know if you can see it, but it has heads up, so in this box here it's projecting the speed up, the speed up here there's also a compass compass up there as well it's part of the technology package on this particular one that is an extra charge uh, as I mentioned before the steering wheel is uh, tilt and telescopic and it's power and that's connected to the memory seats on the door so it controls the drivers or the steering wheel the driver's seat and your outside mirrors and then of course those outside mirrors have that power folding feature as well so you can fold those in you can actually set those up so that they automatically fold in and out when you put it in park and drive as well so you can manually adjust that take a look over at the uh, center console uh, there is a lot going on here so the Venza uh, limited does come with the larger 12.3 inch display with the JBL audio system which includes uh, speakers up here in the A pillars there's an amplifier and a subwoofer in the trunk for that sound system real nice sound system there's a lot going on inside the head unit of this of course we have navigation so you can do a full navigation also we've got our uh, um, controls over here for our climate control so it can adjust those things heated seats ventilated seats it's a touch screen it works pretty it's pretty responsive here and there's a variety of information that you can do you can also switch it around put the maps on that side put the heating controls over on this side so there's a lot of uh, customization that you can do to that it's easy to read 
and honestly when you're driving it's not doesn't obstruct your view out the front window but it is quite large also uh, there are heating and air conditioning controls here heated seat controls I mentioned that but it's a little bit redundant because we also have heating and air conditioning controls down here so the same thing you can do using these controls can be done using these controls so a little bit of redundancy in there uh, we have front window defrost rear window defrost which also heats up your outside mirrors to get the ice and snow off of those We've got a pretty windy day here in Madison so it'll be interesting when I go outside to do the exterior what the uh, sound is like uh, moving down the center uh, console there's uh, your start stop button is here we do have our shifter now this is the um, hybrid uh, Venza so you've got a CVT automatic transmission this is leather wrapped there's a little bit of chrome on the inside a little bit more here on the around the side here I'm going to pull this back and get it kind of out of the way so I can show you all the features that are stowed away down below here so let's see if we can throw some light down there so there's a, a USB port here there's a 3.5 millimeter jack here there's wireless charging down here for your smartphone so you can just throw it in that pocket uh, to keep it charged parking brakes here and then we've got hopefully you can see this EV mode on and off and then our drive modes being an eco a normal and a sport mode all those controls are there um, this is interesting the the pattern that they're using on here I'm going to lower the light and see if you can see it so that's the same pattern that they use over on the door it's kind of a metallic uh, look and feel to it and then it's all s tucked into this center part here and then this is all fabric so this is all soft tech and it's got stitching in it really a nice feel to it the limited edition well all the Venzas have this and it's just a nice luxurious feel to the center uh, console and the armrest two cup holders right here they're quite deep and they actually underneath the armrest here there's some coins or disc that you can put in there for different size mugs the armrest is largely stationary except for it does by the way it's padded with the stitching here it does slide back to um, reveal the ventilated and heated seat controls and you can see there's three settings for heat and ventilation and that's on your front driver front passenger and then they use that metallic trim there also underneath if we pop this up then we've got a little storage tray there's those cup uh, disc that you can put inside here for different size cups there's some storage under here and then there's a 12 volt outlet here as well so up front you have a total of three different places to be able to charge things so you have wireless charging 12 volt here and then I mentioned there's a USB place down there so you can plug in your smartphone there as well and then all of this just goes right back inside now this armrest is not lockable um, but it can be moved forward and back Here's a quick look at the passenger seat. Again, ventilated soft tech fabric with height adjustable headrest, height adjustable seat belts, um, same door design and panels that we saw on the driver's door. The dashboard on this side I think is pretty interesting. It's kind of a tiered dashboard. Of course, there's an airbag that pops out of here and then there's also side curtain airbags. But this is all padded. They've got that piece of braided trim here that we see on the doors as well ties it all together and then brushed aluminum trim up around your heating and air conditioning bezels you can see there's one of those JBL speakers up there as well um, bottle holders in the doors and then your glove box is here but this is not a locking glove box so it's really not secure and of course you do get the owners uh, booklets as well when you buy these new passenger assist grip up here this does have the panoramic moonroof or uh, skylight I should say so this does not open up but it's very interesting the way it works so right now it, it, it pretty much has like a frosted look to it so you can't see out it hopefully you can see this on my camera when I push the button up here it actually makes it transparent so now you can see out so it doesn't open but I love the extra lighting that it provides and if you have too much lighting you can always flip the switch 
and shut it out. You can still see like the leaves on the trees ruffling, but you can't see outside of it. Let me do that one more time. Really interesting. $1,400 option. Very, very cool. Um, it's the only Toyota that has this on it. Then we'll take a look up here. We've got lighted vanity mirrors. We've got visor extensions. Um, we have um, overhead lighting. These are LED uh, map lights. Um, this opens the shade. So there's a power shade and closes it. So if I push on it, Pretty nice if you want to shut that uh, light out altogether, or if you want to bring all the light in. That's a really great feature. Uh, also up here, there's a safety connect button. What this does is it a lot. It you push that if you need roadside assistance, and part of uh, Toyota Care includes roadside assistance. There's some warning lights here in terms of airbags, which ones are on and which ones are off. And then being the limited edition, it does have the upgraded uh, rear view mirror, which is very interesting. So it's your traditional mirror, but then if you flick it like this, it becomes like a, a monitor, like a TV monitor. So you're really seeing out the back, it uses one of the backward cameras. One of the advantages of that is if you have people in the back seat or you have packages that are stacked up really high, and you're in the standard mode, maybe you can't see out the back, but if you flip this, you get a, a good view out of the back. So very, very interesting feature. Home link, so you've got garage door openers here for up to three different uh, devices. And that's standard on the uh, limited edition. So jumping into the back seat, very similar door panel to what we saw up front, the way they use the fabrics and this metallic trim here. Uh, the back windows here are, uh, do have privacy glass on them as well. Before I jump in, I wanted to show you these uh, back seats and the functionality. So soft tech fabric here, these back seats here actually recline. So you can see how much uh, room there is. There's about two to three inches in this area. If you want to lay it back, you just pull this up and then it goes back, it goes flush. So there's a little bit of a recline. Height adjustable headrest on those. There are three seat belts and there's also child safety seat anchors down in the seats as well. Let's go ahead and grab a seat. So really, really interesting inside. Uh, this sky view moonroof is just fantastic for bringing light inside the vehicle. Here's a quick look at the driver's compartment from the back seat. Pretty good visibility sitting back here, especially with that uh, moonroof. Down on the uh, floor, there's uh, some vents. There's also power outlets down there so you can plug in your electronic devices. I really would like to see Toyota move those up to either here or I've seen other manufacturers put them into the back of the seats here so you don't have the cable having to come all the way up there. On the Venza, there's pockets on both of these back seats. And I want to show you the leg room on here. This seat's all the way back and I've still got probably two to three, maybe four inches of leg room. It's very comfortable. I do sit lower in the back seat, so it's not that much higher than what the front seat would be in terms of uh, visibility out the front. And then we do have a folding armrest with two cup holders on here. There's a uh, light up here. I like the fact that it's behind the passenger, so if they're reading, they're gonna have some light at night to be able to read by. And then this seat does the same thing. It folds all the way down. I'll show you when we get in the trunk. And these headrests are height adjustable as well. The seat belts are not in the back seat, but the headrests are. Uh, Visibility is pretty good behind the driver. Uh, of course, Toyota always has these oversized headrests, so there's a little bit of a blind spot, but overall pretty good. Let's take a look in the trunk. So heading into the trunk on the Venza, the uh, rear tailgate does have that really great uh, kick feature so you just kick underneath to open and close it uh, two things the car cannot be running and the driver's door has to be closed for that to work now on the uh, limited edition the threshold plates here these are all brushed aluminum and you can see they're on this side as well so just a added touch of luxury on that cargo cover is going to be standard it's retractable slides in and out just like that and it's also removable you just tug on it like that 
and away you go. You can bring it out of there. Uh, let's pull it out all together. These are the all-weather floor mats. Those are extra charge. Strongly recommend those. So nice wide opening in the back of here. Uh, flat floor, you can see the seats fold all the way down, 60 or 40% down. So quite a bit of storage if you have to move something. There's a cargo light over here. There's the uh, JBL subwoofer over on this side. And then this is your uh, storage underneath. And check out how much space there is under there. That's amazing to me every time I open how much room they've got under there. So your tool kit, your spare tire, and plenty of room for any road side equipment that you need, any uh, jumper cables, emergency quit, equipment, you know, blankets, whatever you might need. You're gonna have plenty of room to stow stuff under there, get it out of sight and out of mind. Look at the attention to detail they put on this insulated blanket here as well on the cover. I think that's so cool. Um, it obviously helps reduce road noise a little bit of insulation but just that attention to detail that Toyota puts into all their vehicles really uh, you know make a Toyota a Toyota and then to go ahead and close it up just run your foot under there again and away it goes hey if you like this video go ahead and hit that thumbs up feel free to share it out if you know somebody that's interested in events or wants to learn more and then uh, feel free to subscribe to our channel here smart Toyota in Madison Wisconsin or visit our website, smarttoyota.com. This is Tony here at Smart Toyota. Thanks for watching.